What's good? It's Kev here with KevWestBeats.com. Today I wanted to talk about using machine as a plugin versus using it as a standalone application. There are advantages to each way. I think the biggest, biggest advantage to using it as a plugin is that um, most DAWs are multi-core, whereas machine is only single core. So if you want to use a lot of high-end, um, high-intense plugins, excuse me, you're going to want to use a, um, a traditional DAW. Machine is really great at handling samples and being a sampler, but we, and it, the sequencer is very good and it is good at sequencing, but if you're using, say, a lot of high-end, especially effects, like high CPU intense effects, um, like for example, F Expansion's Bloom, or even a plugin like Diva by Yuhi, or um, Lush by um, D16, they are all very, very CPU intensive. And you don't want to take that tax on the CPU. A lot of reactor instruments tax that CPU really hard. Um, and when you're running machine, yes, you can get the, um, if your computer is powerful enough to handle it, of course it can handle it. But why put, all, why put the extra work on machine when a traditional DAW is probably going to handle it better? Especially a guy like me, I'm a laptop musician and I have no problem saying that. I prefer to work off a laptop. Uh, just because I want to be able to pick up and go. If I want to collaborate with somebody, it's as easy as putting my laptop in the bag, grabbing my machine and a USB cable, audio interface, and going. You know, I don't like being stuck at home with just my setup the way it is and then having to worry about, oh, well, I hope my hard drive um, doesn't fail or anything or, you know, that I don't forget my flash drive somewhere. I don't want to do all that. Uh, I just want to be able to pick up and go. Um, one disadvantage that I don't, like about using it as a plugin, you lose note repeat um, because you because note repeat and only really works when you use the machine sequencer. At least I haven't figured out a way to make that work yet because the transports when you use them in machine as a plug uh, when you use when you use them when you use machine as a plugin, the transports work with your with your DAW. They don't work with machine and with things like note repeat, you really want them to work inside the machine because they don't work well inside of your DAW. Now, for the most part, I have only used machine. With so with um live, I have used it a little bit with sonar, but I see even less of a point to use it that way in sonar, um, because really it comes down to for the guys that said this to me billions of times. Yes, it is like an MPD, um, with your host a six hundred dollar MPD. Yeah, you can really think of it that way. I kind of do too. Um, the advantages are in the sampler and the way it samples and the way it handles things and the way its own effects are routed out. I do like um the browser for my drums and everything. And I, I love my machine. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, but like I said, it really kind of depends on you. Um, is one way better or the other? No. It really depends on you. I like using it as a plug-in. Uh, sometimes I will use a standalone. You guys have seen videos I've used a standalone. And I really use the standalone for the most part to really learn machine. More so than to um, say, okay, one's better than the other. Um, but it all depends on you, and I'm making this video mostly because I've gotten this question a few times in my email. Use what works for you. If it works better as a standalone, use a standalone. If it works better as a plugin, use it as a plugin. Um, there are distinct advantages to both. Mixing in machine standalone to me is a pain in the behind. I really like mixing it in a traditional DAW. I don't like that machine doesn't have a mixer window. I mean, yeah, if you wanted to, you could say open up a sampler and then go to the output menu, you know, and play with your level like that. I don't really like that. It's, and all it really gives you is a control of a volume. And then you only have room for four effects. You know, if I'm mixing something, yeah, four effects works. But if I'm really getting creative and using some really cool creative effects, like, say, Bloom or Etch or Maul, or even something like, say, a Stutter Edit or something like that, I'm going to want more than those four slots probably because I can get crazy with effects. And that's again where having a, a traditional DAW comes into play because if I close up machine right quick, I can open, say, I can go to Etch and open five edges and it's nothing. Like, well, let them open up. See, it's nothing to open. Just do what I do with other effects. Can't really do that with machine standalone. So, again, it really is up to you and how you choose to work. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, why I prefer one way over the other. 
Um, so anyway, I hope this helps somebody out. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for checking out KevWestBeats.com.